Hey, hey, fine people. Thanks for checking out my video. Appreciates it. If you likes what you sees, please hit the like and subscribe button. Welcome. Journey. Entering. Let's go. What is success to you? How did you define it early on? And how do you feel that you've gotten there? Sure. So, so for me, success, the definition that I use for success right now is to have the freedom to do what I want, when I want, with who I want. So really success, I equate with, with freedom, right? And being able to make choices, to control my life, to be able to do things with the people that I want to do. Now, when I first started on my journey, like my dream after not making it to the NBA, what I thought success was for me when I was in college was to be a sports agent, to make a ton of money, to impact a ton of lives, to buy a house, to buy an island. Then once I have all of those things, right. to come back and start speaking, writing books, coaching people, helping people, inspiring people, doing those things. Right. But I had it backwards. I thought you had to work, make money, and then give. But instead, you can give and be happy in the pursuit of that greatness, in the pursuit of the things that you want to acquire. And so, you know, I, I think back, as I, as I learned about that, I think back to an example that I like to give, which is, I grew up with a really close friend. And this friend, we were friends by birth. Our parents were best friends. Now, one of us really liked school. The other ones didn't like school. One of us liked technology. One of us preferred basketball. One of us barely graduated high school. One of us went on to, to college. One of us dropped out of college and started valeting cars. One of us got a four-year degree from USC. One of us went on to try to build businesses. The other one went on to try and build businesses, okay? To us, neither was right and neither was wrong. We were just living our life, right? right? But to society, the person who went to college was destined for success. The person who did not, who dropped out in ballet cars was not destined for success, right? right? And that's what we think about when we see society and we define success. Here's the thing. The person that drops out of college or drops out of college ballet cars, he ends up starting a company called Movement. Well, Movement sold for $100 million as the leading watch company for millennials and people across the globe. The other person is me in this story, and I've gone on to do some incredible things. So the question is, who gets to decide what success really means? And who do we allow to dictate what success looks like to us? And at the end of the day, we are the ones that get to decide what success means to us. We are the one that gets to decide the journey we want to go on. We are the author of the, our own story. We are the main character in our own movie. And it's up to us to follow the path we want to go on and enjoy that journey in the pursuit of it. I love your two examples with the one it's like, look, I'm going to do it my way because this is how I want to do it. This is who I am. And everybody's built differently. Everybody's right. an individual. We're not all these cookie cutters. And then goes on and then other people, you know, if they just turn on the TV, they go, oh, that guy's really smart and successful, right? But then you look at how he got there and it contradicts what we know and what we think about it. It's very interesting. 